Hey guys, so today I want to defend the thousand dollar booster pack or booster box with four packs of the 30th anniversary as best as I can defend it. Now, would it be great if it was cheaper? Yes, but I think a lot of people are hating on the product. Um, you read on Reddit all the time, it's very trendy to hate on the project product for being very expensive. People said, oh, you know, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in Magic and now I'm just going to stop Magic completely. I'm going to not buy any collector's editions, I'm not going to buy more cases of this stuff. And I find this very silly because those same people have theoretically purchased a thousand dollars of first edition Monarch. Uh, they did get two boxes. Now, I, I don't want to take it in any way. They got two boxes, right, in their bundle. And there's been many investments uh, from Alpha Investments, opportunities, if you will, I'll call it opportunities, which did not pan out. And people still have purchased it. You know, we talk about the $1,000 Rudy card, which we'll get into a little later. I just want to make this very clear that yes, the $1,000 to chase a Lotus and four packs you know, there's other power nine in it. The dual lands will be twice as common, if you will. Um, so they're messing with the rarity. So the rarity, we don't know. Maybe the power nine will be four times as common. Who knows uh, at this point in time. But we know the dual lands will be more common than a pyrolase. That will be twice as common to get a dual land as a pyrolase. And obviously it really helps. There are 10 of them in the set. So you double 10 to make 20. That, that's sniff, that is a significant jump. But if so many people, if let's say thousands of people are buying Flesh and Blood, first edition Monarch, which today on TCG Player sells for $92 shipped. After shipping, after fees, you, you'd, be ha you'd be lucky to get $75 out of that plus your time and so on. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a product of many, many people went deep into Flesh and Blood. They paid $500 a box, uh, not just from Rudy, but on the open market. And then a month or two later, Channel Fireball was dumping the product for $50 a box shipped. First edition, still, again, same product. Same first edition stamp on it. So you gotta ask yourself, I mean, yeah, there are far worse investments than a $1,000 buy. I mean, in, in case you, know, you didn't realize, the $1,000 Monarch bundle of two Monarch cards and maybe a Rudy promo, is the same price as four of these packs. I personally, again, I personally would much rather have these four packs or this box than a bundle of first of this and Monarch. Now you might think, oh, that's unfair. Hindsight is 20. Exactly, exactly. I do not think that the, no matter what happens, I, I do not think whatever happens to this 30th anniversary box, it can be as bad as what happened to first edition Monarch boxes, right? Where maybe it's 150. I mean, at some point, again, Channel Fireball was selling five selling it for 50 bucks at one point in time. So your $1,000 investment could be bought at the open market by Channel Fireball with free shipping for a hundred bucks. It lost 90% of its value in 60 days. I promise you this, I, I can, I, I will bet anyone, so if anyone wants to take up the offer, DM me, that there's no way that this 30th anniversary product is going to lose 90% of its value in 60 days, 90 days. I mean, you can pick the length of time. I simply do not believe this product will ever lose 90% of its value like First of Desert Monarch did. And people don't criticize that, they don't care, I mean, it's crazy that there's so much hatred towards this product when we don't even know. I mean, the product odds might be very good. We already know they manipulated the dual land odds. They could easily manipulate the Black Lotus odds. They could easily manipulate the retro for, or the retro spot and to make it a better card all the time. So you have a lot of angry people on Reddit. You have a lot of angry Magic players, but at the end of the day, this product will sell and that's all that matters. If Rudy's first edition Monarch bundle can sell, to thousands of people, right? Not even just general people, just patrons, like a specific niche of people can buy out this product from him. <laughs> I mean, is this 
is the thousand dollars box really that much of a worse investment than the bundle first edition monarch bundle i don't believe so i don't believe at all that you, i mean i cannot see this box of 30th anniversary where you can chase a lotus you can chase a retro lotus you can chase both lotuses in one pack it's possible unlikely but possible I don't see that as worse than, you know, a two boxes of a brand, a relatively new game with not the pedigree as magic, without the player base. You know, a lot of flesh and blood players, they don't really get it. Um, let me put it this way. There's not any huge, I mean, outside of that one dude who's selling, and the one dude funded this by selling his magic cards. He sold his Alpha Black Lotus to buy the more. Like, you need the whales. You need whales. But you don't want whales like Rudy to sell. You want whales to buy and hold. There ain't nobody buying and holding right now in Flesh and Blood. I tell you that much. Um, so this product and Magic the Gathering, I think, is a reasonable product when you compare it to both Alpha Investments products and even the 6.9 Anniversary product. The ability for you i mean it's like a lottery ticket but the odds of this lottery ticket are much higher than the odds of a first edition monarch bundle which are zero this bundle was never going to hit a thousand dollars i mean okay let's say the bundle hits a thousand dollars great you double your money that was the ceiling well the floor is it drops to fifty dollars so like it has a very low floor 90 percent loss which it, it did occur I guess it could go down to zero, but let's just assume that 90% is the floor, 90% loss. And it has a very low ceiling, which is double. So it can either go up 100%, but you can also lose 90%. That's a terrible, I mean, that's not a really good lottery ticket. This lottery ticket, at least, we can probably, you know, let's say one pack, let's say we buy a pack, you know, we buy a pack from a, a sealed box, from a box breaker for 250. We hit double Lotus. Probably Lotus is at least 5,500 for the regular. I mean, that's the collector's edition. Let's call it $10,000. It's not bad, man. I mean, $10,000, that's for 40X. Yeah, so we 40X our money, potentially 40X our money, right? And this is opening the product. This isn't sitting on the product. Obviously, then we also went viral on social media and all this good stuff, right? So I don't have, a, I mean, I don't know why people don't have an issue of Alpha Investments Monarch Bundle for $1,000, which is worthless today, and they have an issue of this product. I mean, both of them are a lottery ticket, but at least with the Wizard of Coast product, the lottery ticket is, I mean, let me, let me be honest. Let's say you open your first two first edition Monarch boxes today. Well, you got 20 bucks, 20 bucks maybe, 15? What is it worth open? It's, if it's, oh, worth $90 seal, why is it worth opened? Um, at least in this project and in, in this lottery ticket, you have a big, big, big ceiling, 40X, right? It's like, it's like a slot machine. You win big, but you also could lose, right? It could be a pyrrole. So you basically lose 90% of your money. Maybe you hit some good uncommons. I mean, yeah, there's other variances. Maybe your retro is not too bad, but again, yeah, you could hit, theoretically, you could also hit retro pyrrole and retro, and regular pure lace. <laughs> you know, it's not great, but um, at least you have a much higher ceiling, yeah? Anyway, let me know in comments below. I know this will be a heated debate, but my point, my point I wanna make across, and I'll make it across in this, you know, the first of this in Monarch boxes probably cost Rudy less than $40 because Channel Fireball had a special relationship and they were selling for $50 shipped. There's no way it cost Rudy more than $50 to get it because you gotta subtract shipping fees, credit card fees, PayPal fees, and so on. So this is a box Rudy, I believe Rudy got for $40 or less, and he could have picked any price. He could say, you know what, I'm gonna sell it and do my Patreon to solid and sell it to them for 100. I'm gonna do my Patreon to solid, I'm gonna sell them to, for them to 200, 300, 400. But he wanted every last penny for himself. Like people feel sad for him about first edition monarch, but why? Why are they sad? He made four hundred, at least four hundred and sixty dollars a box on a forty dollar product. So in Rudy's mind, he ten x the product. He paid forty dollars for a product and sold it for five hundred. He more than ten x the product. 
So you don't need to feel sad about him. He made millions of dollars on First Edition Monarch, just like he made a million plus on his uh, promo card, which we'll get into right now.